multi-microphone Tascam setup with Audacity instead of the single Yeti mic provides more control over input levels. Each microphone level is set independently from each other, which is ideal for recording groups. For full instructions on setting up the Tascam, refer to the Tascam setup video. Before starting Audacity, make sure all microphones are plugged into the Tascam and the Tascam is connected to the computer. Then, from the top menu bar, navigate to Go and select Applications. Double-click Audacity to launch it. Click the Mic Input drop-down and select Tascam, which is labeled US 4x4. If it isn't an option, close the program by navigating to Audacity and select Quit. Then, replug in the Tascam and launch Audacity again. If problems continue, Restart the computer. Click the channels drop down and select the number of microphones being used. Click the record button. New tracks will begin recording and display in the timeline. The ideal volume level is between negative 12 and negative 6 decibels. Adjust the mic volume knobs on the Tascam as well as the recording volume slider in Audacity to set the level. Each presenter should speak into their mics individually. When done recording, click the stop button. Audio captured from mic 1 and mic 2 may display on one track. To split the audio into separate tracks, navigate to Audio Track and select Split Stereo to Mono. Review the recording to check for errors. If needed, adjust the volume of the tracks with the slider in track controls. Before making any edits, Save as an Audacity project and back up the recording. To save an Audacity project file, navigate to File, Save Project, Save Project. Enter a name, select a location, and click Save. Audacity projects are saved in two parts, a file and a data folder. Both are needed to reopen the project, so be sure to transfer both when moving to a flash drive, external hard drive, or Google Drive. Next, to save a backup recording of the unedited raw audio, navigate to File, Export, Export Audio. Enter a name, select a location, and select MP3 or WAV as the file type. Click Save. Click OK on any pop-ups that appear, and an audio file will be generated. If you need help, email itech at plu.edu, visit the help desk, or call the support number.